Welcome back on the Lobo Basketball pregame show. We're back at the Thomas and Mack Center, New Mexico, in the quarterfinals of the Mountain West Tournament against Boise State. We're joined by Lobo head coach Richard Pitino. Coach, congrats on a big win in round one. You set yourself up with this wonderful opportunity against Boise State. But first, reflect on your team's performance against Air Force. Uh, what stood out most for you? Shared the ball very well. Um, 21 assists. Obviously, low number of turnovers, plus 20 on the glass. Defensively, we were really flying around. Uh, it was a great 40-minute performance all around, you know, and um, that, that Wednesday game can be a little bit hard, and um, our guys played hard. They played free. They played loose, and they played for each other, so it was a great win. Great win, convincing win, and a chance to rest some guys there in the second half. Really a win-win that way for the Lobos for sure. And now Boise State, third matchup with the Broncos. And um, look back on the two from the regular season and the things that you thought that uh, put Boise over the top in those two matchups. Well, at our place, we were certainly right there. Um, Max Rice just had a career night, made a bunch of crazy shots. Uh, the biggest thing is his rebounding, you know, and, and um, will our guards hit? You know, you're not going to out jump Buzo. He's got five, six inches on you. Guy's got to be ready on the bench. Um, but it's going to come down to just a high level of toughness. Uh, that's what Boise State does, you know, and we can't allow Mar Stanley, we can't allow Tyson Degenhardt to, to hurt us down low like they did. So um, just going to have to physically uh, match their intensity because they're really, really tough and, and they're big and strong and physical. You mentioned Shibuzo, Osbo, Abo, and, and the Lobos don't have somebody really to match up with his size on the perimeter. Um, just going to send as many guys at him as you can? No, we're going to hit him. It's not necessarily about trapping him because he doesn't post up as much. The other guys, but it's at their place, we did not put a body on him enough on the offensive glass or defensive glass for us. So high level physicality, you're not going to out jump him. Um, and certainly we can get bigger with True and, 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 and with JB if need be, but um, it's just going to have to come putting bodies on bodies. Lobo head coach Richard Bettino with us pregame. New Mexico has Boise State at the Thomas and Mack Center. Um, Max Rice, you mentioned what he did in the pit. You've seen him do it against your team a couple of times uh, since you've been the coach of the Lobos, and you've said you can't wait for him to lead the league. And a lot of us can't wait for that to happen. But is that a thing, the shots that he makes, they're head shakers. He seems to do it consistently. Do you just tip your cap, or how do you defend him? We did a better job at, at their place, um, but he makes some crazy shots. He did it He did it uh, at San Diego State from, like, the logo. So, you know, you just, you got you to gotta make a low percentage shot a little bit lower. So, you just, you got to do your very, very best to put your uh, hand in front of him, challenge it, and uh, make it a little bit difficult. And then rebound, because he takes some wacky ones, and now all of a sudden it be some long rebounds. Defending Tyson Dagenhart, uh, multiple different guys will get an opportunity against him, or... What's the best matchup there for you? Uh, well, I think it's team effort on those two post guys. You know, I mean, we've got to be able to, if we're not trapping, dig aggressively. If we do trap, trap aggressively, get it out of his hands, rotate. Uh, the hard part about when you do trap is sometimes you're vulnerable on defensive rebounds. Um, you know, so uh, we'll, we'll do a couple different things, but both guys hurt us. So I don't think it was like one matchup for, you know, put Nelly and this guy or whatever. I think they both hurt, hurt us and we got to do a better job. Speaking of the other big Omar Stanley and his skill set a little bit different from Tyson Dagenhart's. Um, you've talked about his length, his leaping ability. Why is he so special? Plays really hard. Quick twitch. Uh, quick to the ball, physical. Uh, both of those guys just have a high, high level of toughness and physicality. Um, and they can score a variety of ways. You know, they're somewhat similar. Um, you know, Dagenhart can shoot the three a little bit better, but uh, both really, really good players, all conference front court. Little boy coach Richard Bettino with us pregame. New Mexico has Boise State in the quarterfinal round of the Mountain West Tournament. This is the biggest game, the biggest opportunity for the New Mexico Lobos since they played on this court in the 2018 Mountain West Championship game against San Diego State. You feel like a win here gets you into the NCAA Tournament? Of course, the trophy is the thing you'd love to have at the end of the week. Um, those are things that you want to keep in the back of your mind. How has the focus been here for over the last, say, 24 hours? And how quickly did you get back to it after the win over Air Force yesterday? Right back after the game. We, were, we went right into the film room as a team, watched about 45 minutes of film. Um, I mean, we certainly understand where we sit NCAA tournament-wise. You know, we're 25 in the net today. 
Um, two of our losses, we didn't have two of our best players. Uh, but we got an opportunity right in front of us, you know. So we want to win a championship. Um, we obviously want to go to the NCAA tournament, postseason and beyond. And uh, Boise's in front of us. So uh, you try not to make it bigger than just execute play by play. But the guys are fired up. I thought they played the right way last night. And hopefully do the same today. You've talked about how much you like this group, how special this team is. How cool would it be for you and your staff to see them be the team that breaks the 10-year drought and gets the Lobos back to the NCAA tournament? Yeah, we can address that in a couple of days if we're lucky to do that. I think the biggest thing is is try to beat Boise. They got us twice this year. Um, you know, so as I said before, um, 22 wins in the regular season, most since 2014. A uh, lot of really good things, and let, let's continue to build off that. Coach, best of luck against the Boise State Broncos. Uh, big quarterfinal matchup. Go get them. Thank you. Lobo head coach Richard Bettino, our guest here pregame. This is Lobo Basketball on UNM Sports Radio Network. I wanted to get our get back, really, and, um, I mean, just get after them. They're a really good team, and we just wanted to, to bring energy and, um, I mean, pressure the ball and, and just do what we do, really. I thought you guys started off on the defensive end, a couple of steals, didn't get some runouts, and then, of course, the bench. You come in, knock down some big threes, add a little bit offensively. What was the strategy on the defensive end? Were you guys trapping the ball um, every time there was a one-on-one -on -one situation, or when was it actually when you guys trapped? Yeah, definitely, definitely to trap their bigs, for sure, but um, really just to be physical. Okay. I mean, really just to be physical. Uh, the last couple games, they really out-toughed us, and that, that wasn't going to happen tonight. We, we emphasized that. We wanted to get after them and, I mean, block out, um, hit first, and, I mean, we came out with the win. Bake, we've talked about it. How do you stay ready? Uh, you hit those three huge threes, and, uh, you know, the minutes, you never know how many you're going to get, when they're going to come, how big they are. Those were big shots, bro. I appreciate it. Just putting in the work and, uh, I mean, putting in the mental and, and uh, work in the gym. So, I mean, just staying ready, just staying confident in myself. And, um, I mean, whenever I get out there on the floor, just, I mean, taking the shots that, that I feel like I can make, really. But and I think you did it on the defensive end. I watched you, you know, clamp down on Dagenhard. I mean, you had a couple of bigs you had to guard out there. For sure. I mean, just trying to do anything I can to help impact winning, really. Um, whether it's on defense, whether it's trying to rebound, whether it's boxing out uh, as best as I can. And, uh, and shooting the ball when I'm open and just being confident out there on the floor. And I mean, uh, I'm just glad we got a, uh, got a win. I want to have you turn around for just a second, Big. Coach Patino coming over to the Lobo fans. He just shared a moment with Jalen House. You're one year Lobo, but to be a part of this, potentially taking this team back to the big dance for the first time in a decade, that might be what this win means, to see Coach Patino celebrating what it means to a house and a mash burn and these guys who have brought this program back over the last three years. How cool is it for you? It's exciting, man. I know I know the passion that they have, that everybody has, that's been here for the last three years. And I'm just trying to, trying to do my best to help, I mean, help their legacy, really. Um, I'm having a great time here in New Mexico, and uh, I just want to keep the, the winning going. Hey, let's keep this run going for sure. And um, what about this fan base? Have you seen one like this in your career? Uh, I, I have, actually. I'm not going to lie. I have. <laughs> You've been but, a lot of stops. But, man, it, it, it's great. It's great. I'm, I'm loving it. Uh, everybody that came out, um, we're, we're going to continue to need this for sure. Well, um, big one tomorrow night. I mean, give us a, a quick little preview. Uh, the New Mexico Lobos get the Colorado State Rams in the semis. Just bring energy. Just bring energy. Be confident and, and come ready to go. Bay, congratulations, Thank man. Thank you. Hey. So awesome. Appreciate Good job. It. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Jamal Baker, Jr., courtside postgame at the Thomas and Mack Center. The Lobos win it 76-66 to here on the UNO Sports Radio Network. We're going to take a brief time out. We'll come back on the other side, and we'll continue the celebration. We'll hear from uh, Coach Patino as he will meet the press. We'll get as much of that for you as we possibly can. Uh, the student-athletes will go first. Coach Patino will follow. And, of course, we'll take you through all of uh, the particulars of the semifinal matchup tomorrow. It'll be a late tip. Yep, you're just going to have to stay up. 10 p.m. Mountain Time tip, 9.30 airtime. Stay with us. More on the postgame show next from Boise, Lobo 76, Boise State 66. It's Lobo Basketball on the UNM Sports Radio Network. Hello. We have student-athletes tomorrow, Baker Jr.
Jalen House, Coach Richard Pertino. Coach, we start with you. Some thoughts on tonight's game. Well, we, we uh, defended our butts off. We rebounded extremely well. Um, they came back, but for the most part, we just battled our butts off. It was a high level of toughness. You can't beat Boise unless you scratch, claw. Um, and our guys fought and got a huge, huge win. Um, so very, very proud of them. They, they deserved it. Our fans were amazing. Felt like a home game. So a great win. We beat a great team. Thank you, Coach. Questions for the student athletes over here? Braden Nurse with the Mountain West. Coach just mentioned it, but you guys, uh, they out-rebound, or I guess they average 10 more rebounds than you guys do, and you led in that category for most of the way. So just what contributed to that tonight, and how did it help you out? You can go first, uh, Just not wanting to go home. I mean, uh, we had to play with a level of toughness, like he said, and I think that's what we did tonight. Yeah, just wanted to be physical, really. I mean, uh, the first couple games, they out-toughed us, and uh, we just didn't want that to happen today. And we, I mean, we executed the game plan and came out the win. Right here. Uh, Jeff Graham, Albuquerque Journal. Jalen, earlier in this season when you guys had that five-game win streak and, and guys, you know, beating teams by double digits, it was all points off turnovers. Last night, you guys got back to points off turnovers. Why is it so much, or why is it that you in particular feed so much off of turning steals into points at the other end? Um, I mean, I like to play defense, so I think when I'm locked in defensively, it helps me offensively. So, I mean, I just try to do that as much as I can. And then in an atmosphere like this, with, with that many people and with the stakes being what they are, you guys needed to win this game. Um, I'm curious how much that played into you playing it up with the fans and there was a Boise State fan in particular at midcourt that with a hat were, on. With the hat on. Um, what was what was what was the? Don't do it. Don't do it. I, I will. I will ask anyway. What what was the exchange there? I'm not necessarily specifically, but just He's, in general. He started before the game even started. Just on on me. So I was like, all right, I got some for you. And that's that's, that was that's it. That answer. was it. Great answer. That was it. Leave it at that. <laughs> All right, um, I will advance this moving or spin it forward just a little bit. And tomorrow night, um, Colorado State, uh, it's another great point guard battle. You guys have had some great ones with Isaiah, uh, and you guys split the season series, all that kind of stuff. Like, what tomorrow can we expect on your guys' third night of all this for both uh, of you guys? A battle. I mean, I'm going to go out there and play as hard as I can. I know he's going to go out there and play as hard as he can. But it's not about us. It's about our team. And <clears throat> the better team going to win tomorrow. Back here. Jeff Sabietta, Sports Animal Albuquerque. Jalen, two things for you. I know what defense means to you. And, and you heard about their guards, and their, they were so big. What was the effort about today? It, was it something to prove? Was it just to win a game? Because this was a tremendous defensive effort by this team. I mean, like I just said, we just don't want to go home. We're playing for more right now. What does that win mean then? The, the emotions were real to you. What, is that, what, what did this win mean? A lot. I mean, I've never been to the tournament before, so we just clinched our first tournament berth in a, in a while. So I'm, I'm excited right now. <clears throat> right here. Uh, first for you, Jamar, uh, as a seventh-year senior, your fourth school, having three big threes to help your team essentially clinch a spot in the NCAA tournament, what does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. It means a lot. I know how much it means to everybody here, uh, I mean, everybody that's been here for three years. And uh, I just try to go out there, play with confidence, and do anything I can to impact winning. <clears throat> um, and Jalen, obviously an incredible performance tonight, 29 points. Uh, I, know, I know you said the fan had some impact on that performance, but what did you see on the court that really opened things up for you to explode like this today? I, I was just confident today. I, I think um, lately uh, I haven't been in the best headspace, like confidence-wise, and tonight I just went out there and lay, laid it all on the line and just played how I play usually. Uh, Jay Tess, KTVB. Jalen, for you, um, a number of times in last night's post-game press conference, whether it was your coach or your, your fellow players, they said that you guys felt like uh, you were bullied the first two games by Boise State. Mm -hmm. How much did that give you an edge tonight uh, as a team? And then for you personally, uh, you know, Boise State did a pretty good job on you the first two games. Tonight was a different story, obviously. Uh, I mean, yeah, like I said, we don't want to go home, and I, I felt like I owed them one. Uh, I shot terrible, and I didn't play well against them the first two games, so I just felt like I owed them one. <clears throat> you, 
you just mentioned the shooting, and I, I want to ask you about the shooting because it's been four or five games. The shooting hasn't been great, and mm-hmm. today you end up 10 to 21, but a lot of those um, outside shots and certainly the threes, one for five, the, the shooting still doesn't seem to have come back, but you found a way to get 26 points. Are you doing something um, to adjust uh, in the shooting slump, or are you just kind of staying with what you do? Trust my shot. I mean, I got this far with the same jump shot, so I just got to trust my mechanics. <clears throat> Uh, Kyle Kenson with the Daily Star. This is for uh, Jamal. Uh, you've played home games in Rupp, Kale Center, and now the Pit. How does tonight compare to some of those atmospheres that are kind of known as you know some of the cathedrals of college basketball? It was incredible, man. I, I honestly didn't expect this coming into the tournament, but uh, it's incredible. Well, we need this going forward for sure. I mean, it's only going to help. And I mean, like Coach said, it felt like a home game out there. So, um, man, it's exciting. It's really exciting. And then the uh, uh, steal or the deflection there towards the end of the game, uh, how kind of electric is that play? Get the takeaway and sort of seal the win there. Man, I'm, it's fun. I'm just trying to do anything to impact winning. And, uh, I mean, it, it's definitely exciting to, I mean, make plays for sure to, to, to do that when that's my goal going into the games. Okay, we'll dismiss the student athletes at this time. We'll keep coach for a few more minutes. You guys can go. Great. Thank you, man. Welcome back inside the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas. You're locked into the Lobo Basketball postgame show. It's brought to you by the Albuquerque Downs Racetrack and Casino. Winning entertainment including simulcast racing, live music, dining, the best games and more. That's the Albuquerque Downs Racetrack and Casino. My broadcast partner, Lobo all-timer Hunter Green. I'm Robert Portnoy. And the Lobo fans that are still here are celebrating with their favorite Lobos. Donovan Dent is being called to the press conference dent and apple hans in the stands and well they should be i mean this this is a special night for lobo basketball it, it would we think secure the trip to the ncaa tournament and uh, of course you advance to the semifinals of the mountain west tournament for the first time since 2018 it's been oh, six years this is a athletes, Jamal very Baker, exciting Jr., night Jalen house coach richard you can hear in the background there the press conference has begun with the Lobo players. We'll let them go for a, a few minutes, and then very shortly, Lobo head coach Richard Patino will step to the podium and uh, address the media. We'll have that for you. Hunter, uh, I know that uh, since you joined me, this team has not been in this position where it looks like they will play in the NCAA tournament. Uh, I was so fortunate in my very first year in this chair. They completed the three-peat here in the Mountain West Tournament, and they earned the automatic berth into the NCAAs. The closest they have come since then was a tournament final appearance in 2018. There have been some lean years mixed in there, and everybody has had to battle through those. And I, I know that you bleed for this program and it's been hard for you on occasion but this is so satisfying and to see it come to fruition like this for new mexico in its third year under head coach richard patino um it's it's pretty cool oh it it? is i you you said it i mean i've been doing this sitting here what 10 years next to you 10 years never had a chance to do a NCAA game this and this is this could be the opportunity and, and it's exciting not only for me but i mean for all the Lobo fans, it's been a decade, right? And so, uh, it's, it, uh, yeah, I, I mean, a lot of thoughts are going on, but I tell you, it's it's exciting, number one, and I tell you, these kids fought today. Uh, House, how many times did he have to pick himself up off the floor, you know, and getting hammered, going to the basket, just giving up his body? Um, and then, of course, the play at Dent, and then the bench, um, I just, I thought it was a collective. I thought it was a team effort and um, just proud of the guys. There's so many things to highlight. New Mexico holds Boise State to 29% field goal shooting. Um, it's their best defensive performance of the year. And they stood toe to toe with one of the best rebounding teams, not just in this conference, but in the country. It was a wash 46 45. Boise wins it by one. They did get some second chance opportunities in the second half. 18 offensive rebounds to Lobos 13, but they only went second chance points by two, 18-16. It had to be a physical performance. The Lobos delivered that. 
here tonight. The physicality of Boise State did not overwhelm New Mexico and those two unbelievable guards, House and Dent tonight, took this game over, especially in the second half, and took the Lobos to the finish line first. I think, like you said, they took on the challenge of the physicality. They knew they had to be physical and match the physicality of the Boise State Broncos, and they did that. They did it from the jump ball. They did it defensively, and we talked about getting out to an early start, and, and they did. Um, so, no, credit to the Lobos and, and the coaching staff for preparation, and I thought that defense, the way they guarded and the trapping on the ball really disrupted the Broncos, and that's hence the reason why they shot a low percentage from the field. And that is our adjustment of the game. Presented by The Joint, the official chiropractor of News UNM Radio, Athletics. KKOB you were pointing it out from the very beginning of the contest that that trapping, the, the way that they were doubling the ball, pressuring, and you said before we ever took the air that when they do that, they're going to have to scramble. And their hustle, so, their effort, yes. their energy, getting to the shooters and not leaving anybody open for a clear path to the basket was phenomenal. You, people don't understand how it's one thing to guard your man but to go and double and then go find your man is so much effort so much energy it's a lot of work and the guys did it and uh so credit to them and i think that's the reason why they won this game new mexico 76 boise state 66 is the final the albuquerque downs racetrack and casino winning entertainment including simulcast racing live music downing the best games and more the albuquerque downs racetrack and casinos. Some final numbers. The Lobos shoot 44% from the field, 28 of 64. Boise, 29%, 20 of 68. Wow. UNM, 5 of 20 at the arc, 25%. Boise, 10 of 34, 29%. The Lobos did leave nine points at the foul line, 15 out of 24, 63%. Boise was 16 to 21, 76%. New Mexico able to come overcome that. Boise, 12 turnovers. The Lobos 11. Each team was 16 points off those turnovers. That number evened up a bit in the second half as well. We told you the rebounding battle awash, 46-45 Boise. They did win offensive boards 18-13, but second chance points were 18-16 Broncos. The Lobos dominate bench points 15-3 and paint points. New Mexico tonight doubles up the Broncos 40-20 and they get out in the fast break outscoring Boise 22-6 in fast break points. That is a remarkable disparity right there. Uh, those are the two categories in which New Mexico won this game. Yeah, and we, we talked about that in pregame and those were the areas they really needed to focus on and they did. The rebounding. New Mexico gets a game high 29 points from Jalen House, 10 of 21 from the floor, 1 of 5 at the arc and 8 of 10 at the charity stripe. They get 22 from Donovan Dent, 4 assists for Dent, 2 boards. Dent goes 8 of 9 from the field, 1 of 1 from the arc and 5 of 8 from the foul line. Jamal Baker Jr. hit 3 first half threes for 9 points how about JT Toppin? He impacted the game without scoring here tonight. Just two points and only five field goal attempts, but 13 rebounds for the fabulous freshman Toppin to lead everyone in that category. Uh, Stanley and Dagenhart both with a dozen apiece for Boise State. Rounding out the New Mexico scoring, four points apiece for Joseph Amstiel and Mashburn, two for Mushila and two for Toppin. Dagenhart 23 for the Broncos to lead them to go with the 12 rebounds. Stanley, six points and 12 rebounds. Double figures points for Anderson, Abo, and Rice, 10, 11, and 13, respectively. Uh, both Abo and Rice overall shooting struggled. They were just 8 of 25 and 6 of 17 from the yard. Lobos win it. Final score, 76 to 66. Let's check in on our postgame press conference. Thank you. Coach, uh, it, it, 76 points, but it seemed like an up-tempo game most of the night the kind that your team thrives off of uh did you get that feel too coach well, it was moderately chaotic in the second half i think you knew both teams were playing for a lot um and um our guys i mean they shot 58 percent versus one of the best defensive teams in the country always in the mountain west so we were taking good shots we were getting to the free throw line um you know and i just thought we played a smart smart game and a tough game Jalen kind of alluded to it in his mind. This gets you guys in the NCAA tournament. Is is that the message, or how do you go forward in in that regard and what you're still playing for, if not a Mountain West championship? Well, I mean, I would be stunned if we're not in the NCAA tournament after getting that win right there. Um, but now let's go. Let's go see if we can get Colorado State. 
You know, I mean, we've got amazing metrics. We've got, what, 24 wins. Um, that's a quad one win right there, most likely, I would assume. So um, amazing win, you know, and I think that's going to put us on the right side. So uh, that pressure should be off us a little bit. But we want to go win a championship. You know, it's Friday night um, in Las Vegas. Like, we should be fired up, see if we can go beat Colorado State. And then as far as Jalen goes, I'm, I'm not going to ask you at this point of a three-year UNM career and a five-year college career, like if you're going to get him to change in any way. But he was, he was, he almost seems to be stepping it up a little bit, his uh, interaction with yeah, fans. I, I don't, you ask all the time, I don't care. Like it's, I don't do it, but that's him, you know, and it's, it's, the guy had 29 points. What, 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 what would I ever do to get in the way of that? It doesn't affect him. Utah State, they're screaming at him, swearing at him. It doesn't affect him. So what do I care? You know, I mean, he's a great kid. He competes his butt off. Um, there's an old expression. You'd rather tone down a Bronco than warm up a corpse. And, and, and I don't want to tone him down too much. He's, he's damn good. And fans, it doesn't bother him. And um, you're seeing that a little bit more with some players. You know, they're kind of going back. At, not my cup of tea, but... Have at it. I mean, keep playing great. I'll let you do that for sure. All right, I'll ask you a basketball question. That'd be great. You guys <laughs> seem to um, send the, uh, send a double down on on Tyson and, and Omar when they were down in the block, and uh, send that guard down. You didn't. I don't remember you doing that a whole lot in Boise. Maybe you did, and I just forgot. But uh, is that what was you that were too busy difference? tweeting? Well, I tweet a lot. Uh, um, no, we adjusted. We we were trying to go off the bounce at Boise. It wasn't. It didn't work. Obviously, those two kids played great. So we went on the pass right away. So a little bit different uh, trap scheme. Went right away on them. Should have done it at Boise. Uh, J. Tys KTVB. Uh, in the first half, Tyson Degan and Omar Stanley they combined to shoot more threes than they, than they did twos. And those two guys are so good around the rim. Uh, how much of your game plan was was that part of your game plan? And did it did it work early on? Yeah, I mean, they shot twenty nine percent. So I think. Uh, we did a great job. Um, we wanted to make a mess of the paint, and we wanted to get them to throw the ball out uh, because they really hurt us at their place. We didn't do a good job there. So, um, you know, great job of adjusting by our guys. And, uh, you know, I mean, Tyson's so good, uh, and even Stanley's so good, but we did a great job on them. Just kind of curious, a uh, follow-up to what Jalen said earlier. He said it wasn't the best headspace recently when it came to his confidence. Um, how, how were you guys able to, I don't know, fix him is the right word or whatever, but give him the confidence to come out and do what he did tonight? You know, I mean, he can bring value in a lot of other ways besides making shots. Um, the biggest thing I tell all those guys is to stay confident. You can impact the game in other ways besides shooting the basketball, especially a guy like Jalen, who's a terrific uh, defender. You know, so if you just get out of your own head and pour yourself into the team, it can help you get out of it. But guys go through it and take good shots. You know, sometimes he takes some tough shots. Sometimes he makes the game a little bit difficult, uh, but he can also make some amazing plays. Coach Patino with the media post game. Uh, Jack Thompson, Mountain West Connection. Coach, you have Colorado State coming up tomorrow night. Uh, Another team that, like you guys, looks like they may be playing their best basketball of the year right now. Uh, on the defensive side, how, how would you try to go about slowing down a Colorado State offense that has really seemed to have found its stride in the last two days? Yeah, I mean, they run great stuff. Stevens is one of the best players to play in this conference for a long time. Uh, so it won't be easy. So uh, we won't get a lot of sleep tonight, and we'll, we'll work our butt off to put the best game plan together that we can. Last question. Coach, I wanted to ask you about JT. He, he gets two points, but every other column in the, in the stat sheet is just busting up. Um, what can you say about what he does when he doesn't score the ball? Well, he rebounded the ball extremely well. We wanted to see if we can get some block shots. He had three shot blocks there. Um, he was a little bit beat up in the first half came back and was terrific. I thought our front court guys, we challenged them and, and they certainly um, answered that challenge. Okay, coach, thank, thank you for you. your time. Lobo head coach Richard Patino post game with the media. New Mexico has defeated Boise State 76 to 66 to punch its ticket to the semifinal round of the Mountain West tournament. And hopefully, as coach Patino alluded to, they have punched their ticket to the NCAA tournament for the first time in a decade. Let's go back to that adjustment of the game brought to you by the Joint, the official chiropractor of UNM Athletics. Coach Patino, he 
encapsulated it for us and you identified it very early on the way that New Mexico was doubling the post Coach Patino said what they did differently tonight than what they had done in the previous matchup in Boise. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I think they would just basically double after the first pass. And um, I noticed that, and it was very effective. But early on, uh, they turned them over like three or four times. Uh, Dent was able to get some runouts and, you know, credit the coaching staff. I mean, we've been talking about adjusting, adjust, making adjustments, and I thought that was a huge adjustment. And like you said, we should have done that at Boise. Um, so that's a, to me, that's a sign of a, a good coach, a good coaching staff. When they make those type of adjustments at this time of year, right? Because a lot of coaches are afraid to change because they've been doing the same thing all year. And, and can their players play at 100% with, you know, a new concept? But I thought that was the difference in, in, in tonight's game. And it, w it really started on the defensive end. And credit the coaching staff. I mean, they got the they got this team prepared. The guys came out and they executed. Amen, brother. Tomorrow night, it's 9 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Mountain. Yep, 10 p.m. Tip off Mountain Time. Our air time, 9:30 p.m. Mountain Time, with the Lobo Basketball pregame show. The Mexico Lobos, the Colorado State Rams, the six seed Lobos, the seven seed Rams have advanced to the semifinals. The two-seed Nevada bounced earlier today by CSU. The three-seed Boise bounced here tonight by New Mexico. On the other side of the bracket, it's the one-seed Utah State and the five-seed San Diego State in the semifinal game that will tip at 6.30 local. Again, our game, 9 p.m. local. That's 9 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Mountain Time. Our airtime for you across the UNM Sports Radio Network is at 9.30 p.m. with the Lobo Basketball pregame show. Bob Walpole has been our producer and engineer tonight. My broadcast partner is Hunter Green. I'm Robert Portnoy. Celebrate, Lobo fans. Uh, there is a potential trophy still to come, perhaps, late Saturday afternoon with two more wins. But in all likelihood, the Lobos have just punched their ticket to the NCAA tournament for the first time in a decade. And it will also mean... It appears that a record six Mountain West teams could get a berth into the NCAA tournament, and five of those would be at large bids. Who would have thought yeah. that just a few short years ago? <laughs> Consecutive years of four teams in the dance, and a team makes the finals last year, yeah. and now six teams in the dance here in 24? Yeah. Remarkable. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, you want to, what, what's the credit? I mean, how did that happen, and was it the portal or, you know, the coaching or, um, I think a lot of it too is you know the Mountain West has a great fan base and it's starting to get the attention of a lot of AAU coaches a lot of high school kids and you know they're tired of playing in, in empty gyms across the country to be honest with you and why not play in the Mountain West Conference where you can play in front of you know thousands fan, of fans fan and, bases all over yeah, the league yeah, yeah. so Great point, partner. Okay, Lobos Live is next on our flagship station, 96.3 News Radio KKOB with Kenny Thomas, the Lobo All Timer, and host Brandon Ortega. For my broadcast partner, Hunter Green and Bob Walpo, I'm Robert Portnoy. We'll talk to you tomorrow from Sid City. Remember, 9 30 p.m. Mountain Time airtime pregame show, 10 p.m. Mountain Time tip off, semifinals, Lobos first semi since 2018. The Lobos knock off. Boise State here tonight. It's a date with CSU tomorrow night here at the Thomas and Mack Center. Your final score for the final time. The Lobo 76, Boise State 66. So long, everybody. This has been Lobo Basketball on the UNM Sports Radio Network.